Well, we are already in October, and as fall settles in, we're also ushering in Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Breast cancer is the most common non-melanoma form of cancer that hits women in Canada. It is estimated that nearly 27,400 women were diagnosed last year and that nearly 5,100 died from it. A new photography book hopes to help women conquering cancer through channels such as Dragon Boat Racing, multiple time gold medalist Cheryl Pounder, who wrote the forward of Beautiful Body, Unbreakable Spirit. It is out today and Cheryl joins us right now. Cheryl, good morning to you. How are you today? I'm wonderful. Thank you very much, Jennifer. And how about this? October 1st, we get to launch Beautiful Body and Breakable Spirit. And uh, it's been something that's been very near and dear to my heart. Yeah, absolutely. And now you wrote the foreword to this book. Can you tell us why you decided you wanted to be a part of it? Yeah, it was kind of a no-brainer for me. My mom introduced me to uh, the author of the book and, and the woman taking the pictures. And I just thought this is surreal having gone through with my mother and, and not having gone through personally the experience of having going through treatment but being part of a family that witnesses the vulnerability and the courage and the strength that it takes to overcome uh, the disease and the battle and the courage that it took and there's my mom my sister and i as was we run for the cure and just what dragon boating did for her it was it was a team approach. It was a support group. And with each and every stroke, they really believed that there was going to be another day. And I watched that camaraderie. And so this book really celebrates that journey of the seven women. They expose themselves, getting uncomfortable and saying, hey, let's live, let's get active. And that's been something that's been so important for these women in their healing process. And can you tell us more about the photographer of this book and what the images we'll see when we open? I know that women will be featured in lingerie that's meant for uh, post-breast yeah. cancer surgery survivors, correct? Yeah, Tasha Demjanovic, she did an amazing job with this. And to get these women to be in these uncomfortable settings and, and really expose themselves and embrace their bodies. And, and there's such a vulnerability, humanity, and courage that screams out. And this is a book that, I mean, you can get it for $60. 100% of the proceeds are going to the survivors and their dragon boat teams just to celebrate these women. And, and when I watched and looked at the pictures, uh, it just really screamed to me how important it is to embrace life. And this is exactly what these seven women have done. And through their stories, they're telling the stories of so many others like my mother and the courage that it took and, and really being authentic about it because they don't just say, you know, oh, it was easy. No, they talk about how difficult it was. And that's something that is crucial in, in embracing what they've been through and living for the moment and the hope of tomorrow. So grab yourself a copy at uh, beautifulandbreakable.com. Get out there, especially during this month, and really celebrate and support these women and, and their quest to really just get out there and live. Yeah, and Cheryl, your mom is such an impressive woman. She's a breast cancer survivor herself. And I was surprised to know that she paddled in the Dragons of Breast Club in Toronto from 98 through to 2013 that is incredible but for people who who are just joining us now and they think okay dragon boat racing is this a, a chinese thing how what's the connection between dragon boat racing specifically and those afflicted with breast cancer what's the history well, interesting so they, they really joined a camaraderie I, I call it sort of their own team and there's over 50 teams across Canada. And I know that my mom, when she started this dragon boating, it was a group of survivors that would get in this boat and they would be athletic and they would try and they would practice and they would compete because why not? Why can't they compete? And they would do that. They would cross the finish line and you'd see them embrace. You could see that they had expended the energy that they had on that day. And if they didn't have enough, someone could pull, pull a little bit more for them. So what it became was a real support group, a support avenue for these women while they were embracing sport and athleticism and just getting out there and being part of something. Because often, you know, as, as a survivor or someone going through it, you know, you want to be the strong one. I know for my mother, you know, having four kids at home when she was diagnosed, she tried to be strong. She put on a brave face. But when she got in that boat or when she got to a meet, she could talk to those women about what she was going through. And there were many, many days where there were tears uh, lots of them when you needed a hug or from someone who understood perhaps what you might have been going through and and so when I would go watch these events I was just so taken aback of the strength and the courage of these women 
and the battle that they were facing and doing it not just for themselves, but for each other. So such a strong, strong unity of teamwork uh, and really connected by the ties of breast cancer. Cheryl, a beautiful body, unbreakable spirit. It is out today. 100% of the proceeds will be going to uh, sponsor breast cancer survivors. Thank you so much for joining us this morning to talk about this important book. Take care. Thank you very much. And still to come on CB12.